I'm Robert Spurway, Managing Director and CEO at Grain Corp, and I'm joined today by Ian Morrison, our CFO. We're here to share with you Grain Corp's record financial results for the financial year 2022. Our earnings before interest tax, depreciation and amortisation were 703 million. That's up from 331 million in 2021. Our net profit after tax was 380 million. That's up from 139 million the year prior. Our return on invested capital was 27.9% up from 11.1%. And I think, Ian, that really underpins the strength of the result. Over the next few minutes, it's an opportunity to reflect on that result and importantly, the whole of team effort across Grain Corp that delivered it. But before I do that, I just want to acknowledge that it's been very wet across many parts of Australia and especially the regional and rural communities in which we operate across the east coast of Australia. The flooding and the devastation that's been caused by that rain is creating many challenges for people both within our network, growers and the populations in those communities. Many of our people have been out there supporting and preventing floods but also assisting in the recovery effort. It's a difficult time and I want to acknowledge that at Grain Corp we're thinking of those that have been impacted. At the same time, we're also making sure that we're ready for the delayed harvest so that we're there to meet growers' needs over the coming months. As I said, tremendous team effort right across Grain Corp producing the result. And Ian, you might like to talk about the segment results because not only was it a record for Grain Corp overall, but we've seen records fall right across the business. No, absolutely, Robert, and thanks for that. So our agribusiness segment delivered a record result, and that's off the back of the record production on the east coast of Australia of over 30 million tonnes. And that led to an increase in the total grain handled by Grain Corp from 34.4 million tonnes in FY21 up to 41.1 million tonnes in FY22. And we also saw really strong supply chain margins for uh, exports. So this year we exported 9.2 million tonnes of grain to international markets and that's the largest export year we've delivered since 2012, which is really pleasing. Also in our agribusiness segment, our fats and oils business delivered really well with strong demand for renewable fuel feedstocks. On to our processing segment, which also delivered record results. We've continued to see improvements in our crush facilities at Numarca and Panjara, and that saw a 3% increase in crush volumes from 459,000 in FY21 to 471,000 this fiscal year. And as Robert touched on before, it's fantastic to see the great work from people right across the business delivering those results. Our foods business also delivered an 11% increase in sales volumes with strong demand for refined vegetable oils. Finally, just finishing off on balance sheet, we delivered a strong coal cash balance of 177 million at the end of the year, which leaves us in really good position to continue investing in the business. That strength of the balance sheet and off the back of the results we've announced today, the board has also been in a position to declare total final dividends of 30 cents per share. That brings dividends for the full financial year in total to 54 cents per share. It's in addition to the 50 million on market share buyback that we completed in July of this year and really delivers on that commitment that Grain Corp has to both continue to invest in the business and return funds to shareholders. In terms of other commitments, we've also today produced our sustainability report for 2022, and that covers a number of commitments across ESG in. Yeah, we're really pleased with the progress we've been able to make across our sustainability commitments. And some of the highlights from that are we've been able to scope, uh, map our scope three emissions, achieving ISCC certification at our new markup plant, and also good improvements in both energy and water use per tonne. It's a really pleasing to be able to make that good progress right across our ESG goals. Overall, Grain Corp is really well positioned for the financial year ahead. We've got a business that's performing well, we've got a strong balance sheet, and as you say, Ian, we're delivering strongly on our commitments right across ESG. 
that's evidenced in the pipeline of growth opportunities and improvements that we're making and investing in across the business. Again, I just want to acknowledge those that are managing and dealing with the impacts of floods and reassuring growers that we'll be ready for you as the harvest progresses. We're seeing good volumes coming in in Queensland. We've seen disruptions in New South Wales and Victoria, but we'll be ready as the harvest resumes following the wet weather. I also want to thank growers for your support throughout the year. And again, thank everyone at Grain Corp for what's been a tremendous year not just in results, but in the performance and the challenges that you've overcome. Thank you to everyone at Grain Corp. We look forward to the year ahead. Thank you.